Hello stamping friends, Kim Williams back again with another technique video. This is actually a card fold. It's called the um, triple fold drop down card and here's what it looks like. All right, so when you open it, it's triple folded with a little drop down um, flap. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this. First of all, I'll give you the measurements of the cardstock. This is my eighth video, by the way, if you're keeping track. And if you like the video, be sure to like it, comment, share it, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate it. That would be great. Um, so to start out with, we're going to do um, our cutting of the Whisper White for our triple fold drop down card and this is cut this is whisper white cut at 10 by three and three quarter and then you're going to score it right down the middle at five so score it or just simply fold it right in half okay all right and then we're using pacific point for the backdrop of the card and this is cut at four and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then you're going to score actually depending on which way you put it in your paper cutter you're going to score it at five and a half right here okay so we're going to set this piece aside for now and we're going to concentrate on stamping on this piece now for this card I use the garden and bloom stamp set from stampin up of course and I love this set it's a two-step stamp set but not only that I love the sets that look kind of like a watercolor whenever you stamp with it um, and you don't even have to watercolor use any water you just dip it in your ink pad and stamp so we're just going to randomly stamp the front of this card I always start with the largest image working down to the smallest and on our um, photopolymer stamps you can see this little point this little arrow on the stamp since it's a two-step stamp you're always going to line up your second layer um, or mount your stamps on your blocks the same way so that you know how to line those up the arrow should be facing the same way. So we're just gonna randomly stamp this three times on the front, and this uh, color is Peekaboo Peach. And you can see how it has like a variegated look, gives it like a nice watercolor look to the uh, actual stamp. And then we're going to stamp the second step, the detail, in the Calypso Coral. Again, we're holding it the same way we did the last one. And you're lining that right up over top to give the detail of the flower. That's your two step. And the second step usually adds the detail. And you can do it the other way around. You can stamp the outline first and then stamp the inside of the flower second. It just depends on which way you like to do it, which way you're more comfortable with. All right, so the middle of the flower, we're going to use Pacific Point, and I'm actually gonna stamp off onto my scratch paper and then stamp in the middle. This is actually um, meant to be the body of the bee that comes in this set, but I'm gonna use it for the middle of the flower, and you can use it, that's another use for it. All right, I'm working largest to smallest. We're gonna add the leaves. We're not gonna two-step the leaves. These are, this is pear pizzazz. We're not gonna two-step the leaves just because I just want a softer look and it. I want it to kind of blend in um, without standing out too much. So pear pizzazz, we're gonna stamp a few of those around. And then we're gonna add our smallest stamp, which is this tiny little butterfly in Pacific Point. And that's where we're going to fill in 
some of the empty space. And I kind of like it to go off the edge of the paper here and there. Okay. And then we'll add the greeting. This is early espresso ink. And it says, hope you're feeling special today. And we're just going to stamp that right over top there. Okay. Now, what we can do with this, before I attach it to our Pacific Point background, I'll go ahead and stamp the inside of the card and the inside verses because that's just what you are. And again, we'll use the same color as the outside verse. Hope you're feeling special today because that's just what you are. And then I always like to decorate a little bit on the inside. I'm going to stamp my butterfly, but I'm going to stamp off once and then put the little butterfly there. All right, so what we're actually going to do is attach this to the front of our card. And this is just the back flap of your Whisper White. And you're going to line it up like you would any card so that you have an even amount of framing around it. Now this bottom flap, we have a smaller Whisper White piece, three and three quarter by two and a quarter. And I just decorated this a little bit because I love the little tiny stamps that came in this set. Um, and we're going to do about three Peekaboo Peach flowers. And then we'll go in with the Calypso Coral and do the detail of the flower. I love those two colors together. And then we'll add some leaves. We have a smaller set of leaves here. Again, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to do the second step of the leaves. We just want some soft soft color on here. And then the last thing we'll do is add another little butterfly up in the corner, stamping off first and then onto our cardstock. And we'll attach this to the inside bottom of the card. And it should line right up with what you attached earlier. And you're gonna close that and close that. And it looks like a regular card. And to top it off, we're going to take a few of our um, pearl jewels and put it in the middle of our butterflies. I always use my paper piercing tool to attach my rhinestones or any of these little tiny embellishments um, that are hard to pick up with just your fingers. You can just plop them right on there with with the um, paper piercing tool, love that. All right, and there you have it. There's the inside, if you can see it. Made with the Garden and Bloom stamp set. And it's the triple fold drop down card. Now, if you like to order any of these products that I used today, my blog is Stampin' with KJoy Inc. at typepad.com and you can order, you can actually order from there if you click on the Shop Now link or you can go straight to my website, my Stampin' Up! website, www.kimwilliams.stampinup.net. Hope you enjoyed the triple fold drop down card, video number eight. Again, if you liked it, if you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, comment, um, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.